The topic of this video is using the midpoint formula. Suppose that we want to find the midpoint of the line segment between the distinct points x1, y1 and x2, y2. The midpoint of a line segment is the point equidistance, i.e. the same distance, from the endpoints. See below. All right, so here's our first point, x1, y1. Here is our second point, x2, y2. We want to find the midpoint, which is the point that is exactly halfway in between those points. Well, it turns out that's a very easy thing to do. The x-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x-coordinates of the endpoints. You know how to find an average. You take the number of things you have, add them up, and then divide by the number that you have. So the average of the endpoints would be x1 plus x2, and because there are two of them, we divide by two. Similarly, the y-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the y-coordinates of the endpoints. y1 plus y2 divided by two because there are two endpoints. This gives us the midpoint formula. The midpoint of the line segment with endpoints x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 is m equals the coordinates x coordinate is x1 plus x2 all divided by 2 and the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 all divided by 2. Okay let's look at an example. Example 3. Find the midpoint of the line point of the line segment with endpoints 4.2 comma negative 4 and negative 2.8 comma 3. Okay the first thing we want to do is identify which one of these points will be point 1 and which one of these points will be point 2. It does not matter which one is which. As long as we are consistent, we will get the same answer at the end. So, the author of your textbook has decided that the 4.2 comma negative 4 will be the first point, x1, y1, and the negative 2.8 comma 3 will be the second point, x2, y2. We write our formula, and we leave space for the x1, x2, y1, and y2, then plug them in. So x1 is this 4.2 value. x2 is this negative 2.8 value. y1 is this negative 4 value. And y2 is this 3 value. Now add and then divide. 4.2 plus negative 2.8 equals positive 1.4. And then when you divide it by 2, you get positive 0 0.7. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And then when you divide it by 2, you get negative a half, which as a decimal is negative 0 0.5. All right, let's look at one more example. Example, find the midpoint M of the line segment joining the points c equals 0 comma negative 4 and d equals negative 8 comma 6. Once again, we have our midpoint formula shown here, and once again, we label our points. So we are going to have c be our point 1 and d be our point 2. Now we plug into the formula. First, add the x's, 0 plus negative 8, as shown here then divide it by 2. Next, add the y's, negative 4 plus 6, as shown here, then divide by 2. So 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8, divide by 2, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2, that has to be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the midpoint has coordinates, negative 4, comma, 1. 